That's why today I'm proud to announce my campaign for the United States Senate. Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes in a much anticipated announcement, joining a growing list of Democrats Tuesday entering the race for U.S. Senate. I believe deeply that we can do this. Barnes, a Milwaukee native, making the announcement at Sherman Phoenix, abandoning running for a second term as Lieutenant Governor alongside Governor Tony Evers. Do you have his endorsement? No, the governor is not getting I haven't asked for his endorsement, actually. Why not? Just haven't. Just haven't asked for it. The list of Democrats growing now, including Bucks executive Alex Lazary and state treasurer Sarah Godlewski, all vying to take on Republican Senator Ron Johnson, who hasn't decided yet whether to seek re-election. Is this a campaign against Senator Johnson? This is not a campaign against Senator Johnson. That's the, that's the point that I want to stress. I want to thank you for asking that question, because this has to be about opportunity. This has to be about a forward vision for the state of Wisconsin. Republicans already taking aim, saying, quote, make it up Mandela Barnes has neither the maturity nor the temperament to represent Wisconsin in the U.S. Senate. They, are you an easy target for, for Republicans for issues that may, they may bring up? Well, we can uh, go back to the previous issue you just brought up about being a black candidate. Of course, the RNC loves to play the race card. In Milwaukee, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News.